Thank you for watching the Smartbox HD setup guide. The Smartbox HD unit includes Samsung Blu-ray player, digital TV tuner, mixer, Optima 3000 ANSI lumen projector, and adjustable height feet. The remainder of the package includes 8-inch Behringer powered speakers in a wheeled road case, XLR to XLR cables, power cables, auxiliary audio cable, and VGA lead for laptop use. Additional items for the package include a wheeled road case for the smart box, wired or wireless microphone, SatSmart satellite dish system, and a spare projector lamp. First, you'll need to unpack the contents of your package, then attach the feet, which allow the angle of the projector to be adjusted. There are three feet, two at the rear of the box and one at the front. Simply screw them into the holes provided. Place your Smartbox HD onto a stable table at the distance required for the size of your screen. To operate the unit, first you'll need to plug in the power cable into the mixer unit at the rear of the box. Connect the speaker cables into the speaker outputs left and right appropriately. They are located adjacent to the power cable connection in the mixer. To power up the unit, ensure the mains power is switched on and simply turn on the power switch located above the power connection. You'll now be able to power up the rest of the unit. The projector has an on button located on the control panel at the top of the unit, while the Blu-ray player has a touchscreen panel at the side. Alternatively, the Blu-ray can also be switched on using its remote control. Please note, the projector lamp will take around 30 seconds to warm up before an image will appear. Now you can insert your media into the Blu-ray player. Ensure that the lens cap of the projector has been removed. To use the remote control of your Samsung Blu-ray player, ensure the BD button at the top left is first selected. Then using the menu button, you can select your functions with the arrow keys up, down, left and right with enter in the center key. Now we will demonstrate how the mixer on your Smartbox HD works. Make sure before starting that all volume controls are set at zero. The master volume controls the audio through your speakers, while the other channel volume levels control each channel individually for Blu-ray, iPod, auxiliary and microphone. Most often you will only require audio from one channel at a time. To do this, only have one channel volume up at a time, turning your volume of the selected channel down to zero prior to turning up the next when changing channels. Alternatively, if you would like to have two or more audio channels on together, simply turn up both channels at the same time. This may be desired if you wish to use your microphone over the top of audio from your Blu-ray or iPod for an announcement. Now we will go through how to operate the features of your projector and the functions you'll use most. First, we have the zoom function located at the top of the projector and the fine tune or focus ring, which is located at the front of the projector around the lens. Using the menu and the arrows to navigate the menu, go to the image, then to display mode. You'll be able to select the contrast and brightness options for your display of the image. We find that blackboard is the most universal. Next, we have the horizontal and vertical shift functions. These are both located under display. Simply select the option you wish to adjust and use the arrow keys to move the image in the direction you want for the image to fit the center of your screen. The next function is Keystone, located in the display menu as well. This function allows you to square up the image if you have had to tilt your projector either up or down to achieve the correct height for your screen. Again, use the arrow keys to adjust your image appropriately. Now we move to the setup menu where you will find the projection option. This function allows you to flip the image for front and rear projection. There are four options, forward, backwards, upside down forwards and upside down backwards. The latter two are only used for roof projection and do not apply for this application. Simply select the projection option using the arrows to select the projection option you wish to use. Screen type allows you to select the size or resolution of the media you are screening. Volume allows you to adjust the speaker volume from within the projector. To power off your projector, press the power button once. The screen will display power off. Press power key again in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Press the power button a second time and the projector will count down until it switches off. When the projector has cooled down, the light will turn from green to red, then replace the lens cap. Now turn off the Blu-ray using either the remote or the power button on the touch screen. Switch off your Smartbox unit at the mixer, ensuring that your speakers have also been turned off. Unplug the power cables from both your Smartbox unit and speakers. Remove the speaker cables by pressing the release button on the top of the XLR cable and then pull to release. Roll up your cables neatly and secure with electrical tape for storage. Place your smart box back into the road case for storage and transport. For full operating instructions of the individual components, please refer to your individual unit instructions provided.